We're from Tinseltown. <laughs> it, does every road in Hood River lead to double? <laughs> That's for me. I mean, it's close to practice. Though. Here's all good in the hood. Good, good in the hood. hood! Yeah, all good in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> all good. All good in the hood. All good. All good in the hood. All good. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Can I kick it? <laughs> <laughs> Cooper wants to play. He says he does not like the GoPro and he wants to let you know. Can you wear this helmet, please? Can you wear this helmet? <laughs> He's like, no. It hurts. It hurts. Please don't do it. It hurts. <laughs> What's up with this helmet here? So, this is my brain bucket. This looks damaged. It does. So describe it. What do you see? Well, there's some scuffs on. I mean, overall, it looks like in pretty good shape. There's definitely some big scuffs and stuffs. Like maybe this piece. Like you hit somebody. This is your helmet. <laughs> this is the helmet that I was wearing when I had my accident last year in Austria, a motorcycle accident. And I mean, brain bucket. Yeah, well, I'm glad you were wearing this. It looks kind of intact, but... I'm the method man with the Wu-Tang Clan. I'll be hectic and coming for the headpiece. Protect it. Method so man. do they do a test on these things to see if they're still like... No, so this is not usable anymore. Uh -huh. Definitely not. So that saved my life. And now it's mm. that was its turn mm -hmm. now it's done this is just like a it's just like to have now piece. yeah it's to look at see it got she got hit on the side of the head i mean i hit the inside of a tunnel with my head so it's actually, amazing it's not more like shattered and stuff right? that's pretty crazy i did email them to see if they would want to have the helmet because i thought uh -huh. maybe they wanted to test it or something and they said no like just like, send yeah. us a picture and that's it mm. they don't want they're like we got plenty of helmets So my friend Julie, I met with her. She experienced a traumatic brain injury. She had a road bike accident out in Eastern Oregon. She moved to Portland so that's she could get treatment. Mm -hmm. And she was she put it in a in a super great way, which was which is all of her main all of her cities are intact, but all the roads connecting those cities are mm -hmm. like landslides came down. Wow. And my physiatrist put it to me like, you take your brain and you shake it up real hard and you basically strip all the wires down. You have like a million wires coming from your skull out of your brain. Your All of those um, get stripped down to the copper wire. So all you have left is the main one wire coming out and mm -hmm. you will regrow all that You got to rebuild all, are, the, all the All circuits. the connections. And so that's why I get super tired because I get – like it's overwhelming. Like I go to the grocery store and I'm, I'm like I have to come home and take a nap and I kind of want to throw up a little bit, <laughs> because it's just like a lot of over overstimulation, too many choices. So I was on a motorcycle trip, and I was riding from Austria to the coast of Italy to take a ferry to Morocco, and I had my accident on the second day of a three week trip, so that. Like, I, I feel like I definitely got robbed on that one. I mean, and other people got robbed too. But hmm. I don't know what happened. I know I was in a tunnel and um, not sure. I'm not sure why I had my accident. But one of the things that I'm being treated for in my therapy now is my in my vision therapy is depth perception. And I still have a, a big deficiency in depth perception. So mm -hmm. it could have been what caused my accident. I have no idea. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess riding a motorcycle and not having depth perception, not seeing yeah. the world around you, could that's kind of a bad combination yes. of things. So um, one of the things I was going to say is that I have had to kind of overcome and, like, achieve a lot of things. So when I came home from the hospital, I came home on October 31st last year. So not quite a year yet. 
Um, but from when I came home, I wasn't allowed to go up and down the stairs in my house. I wasn't mm. allowed to use knives. I wasn't allowed to use any appliance that had has a plug. I wasn't allowed to take a shower if nobody was home. So I had to like graduate past all these things. Yeah. I had to graduate to a place where I could have my dogs on my own again, which was like... So you had to gain the trust of people around you and gain your own exactly. trust in yourself that you can walk up the stairs. That... Because I was I was a danger to myself and everyone around me. Yeah, because if you would have fallen down and hit your head again, that who is knows? exactly. So that's the other thing about traumatic brain injury is you don't have a do over. So like all these people who are like NFL, like they get concussed, they get concussed, they get concussed. It's really not good to get that over and over no. again. You don't have a do over as a person who has experienced a brain injury. You get one brain injury and then you will not recover that same way again. So. Good wow. to just keep your helmet on or protect your headpiece. However, protect your head. Yeah, keep it keep it nice. Um, but so some of the other things that was like I had uh, been reported to the DMV by the hospital that I was at in Portland because traumatic brain injury is required by law to be reported to the DMV. Because then you yeah you can't operate a vehicle if you. So I had to be tested at an occupational therapist in Portland. It was like a two hour test, and I failed depth perception. And so because of that, they couldn't pass me and I couldn't drive. And they gave me, sent me a letter, DMV, saying my license would be sus suspended by a certain date if I didn't go retake the knowledge and retake the driving portion of my C class mm -hmm. and any endorsement. And that endorsement includes, wow. included my motorcycle endorsement. Um, and so I did it. I went and I took the knowledge portion and then I did the driving test and I got a 91 on my C class driving test. Mm -hmm. The woman took some points off because she said that I was speeding and because I wrote, I ran a yellow light. Well, those, yeah. I was like, well, I'm committed. <laughs> I'm just going. And then we were going up the street in through a neighborhood. And she was like, what's the speed limit here? And I was like, well, it's residential here. Mm -hmm. So it's probably 25. And she was like, not 35. And I was like, no. Mm. <laughs> that, and then I also did pass my motorcycle endorsement, which so it's you, not wait, popular. Wait, wait, wait. So you wrecked on a motorcycle. And now you're back on a motorcycle? I'm not riding a motorcycle. I still have a motorcycle. I'm not riding it. I know that I don't have another do-over but for a brain injury. But I, I had to pay out of pocket for this test, and so it included my motorcycle test. So I, was, I wasn't about to have to. How did it feel to get back on a motorcycle? And I mean, it felt great. I felt, ha I felt real happy. Because I never felt like when I had my accident, I don't really remember that. I didn't feel nervous. I didn't feel like, like this is scary. I felt fine. I felt like, yeah, challenging. Mm -hmm. I did skid. Too much rear brake, that causes a skid on a motorcycle. And I don't know. I know that it was because it was, I was weaving in and out of traffic following my group. And there it was, the road was wet because it was raining. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember skidding, but I wasn't like, oh, scary, I have to stop. I was like, oh, yeah, this is real. Like, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that seems like kind of a dis recipe for disaster. Why? You're weaving in and out of traffic on a wet road in an unfamiliar area. On, in, like, another country. In another country. I mean, <laughs> I was about just, like, chilling out a little bit and, like, oh, let's enjoy the ride. No. I didn't feel worried. I have my retest. My T Morgan field test for motorcycle. My endorsement. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. Cheers. Pop cider, brilliant. Mm. That's Pop nice. Cider. Mm. Portland Cider Company. Drink it is good. It's always hard. Ooh. <laughs> it's cider. I'm always hard. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I got a question. It's funny how time flies. I'm just having fun, just watching it fly by. Everywhere that I go, ain't the same as before. People I used to know just don't know me no more. Everywhere that I go, I got.
got people I know Who got people they know So I suggest you lay low Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Oh, I have a question. 